looking at the little machine shop plate man those holes are close I was told it can be done with a round file make them just a little larger on the counter the photo counter wasn't enough so we're gonna clamp it into the vise we've got a little bigger file that's just about the right size for the hole and if we clamp it in the vise it gives us a lot more visibility on what we're doing so we can get the slot in the right spot and take about that much I bet really quite easy if you have the right file that should do it that should do it Dipping this at a 45 allows you to get the slot a little better aligned as well. Okay, with the right round file and this in the vise, it took about two minutes, probably less than that, probably about 60 seconds. Now the wire comes out on this side. You're gonna wanna put this on the wire side. And, It fits just that quick and that's all it takes to fit R750 to the LMS belt drive conversion kit mini milling machine place the motor on top of your little machine shop bracket I'm assuming you already have it in and it's in too uh, tap this pulley into place so that the top belt lines up and lock it in put the belt on put the pivot bolt in put their uh, locking bolt in tighten the belt put this on lock the motor in place so the LMS kit comes with this little plastic cover and it's not acceptable in my opinion. I suppose, now if that belt came flying off, I'd rip that thing right off and put it right in your face. Because I'm right handed, I decided to put the control over here so I could stop it while I was running the machine. This is our base unit controller with a 750 motor. I've already adjusted the brake and the soft start. It's at max 4500. Stop, start, stop. Reverse direction, start, stop. Notice how fast it is? I'll show you how to adjust the brake. To adjust brake, or cell push the green button and the orange button poa is brake select it's at one that's more brake that's less one is ideal do the same thing both buttons scroll down to six select the orange button three is acceleration we might be able to lower that a little bit we'll lower that to two Select. Now we're going to try it again. I kind of like that a little better because you really want to stop it fast if you're threading, but you can start re-threading the other direction slower. We'll do some speed checks. Slowest speed, 200 on the motor. 
143 on the spindle. Top speed, 4200 on the motor. 3178 on the spindle. I purchased a little machine shop adapter. It's a, a belt adapter versus using your gears. This machine already has the gears removed. I highly recommend you remove the gears. This plastic cover is cheesy, but it's there. It will not save your face if the belt snaps. Uh, it probably hit your face. There's stop. So you can change the R8 chuck. It's pretty good. I just grabbed a screwdriver. Uh, it slides in there and that locks it. So that's okay. 